This video is designed to talk you through the different types of plate boundaries that you will need to know for your GCSE course. Some of the definitions that are associated with this are plate, which is a large section of the Earth's crust. A plate boundary is the point where two plates meet. There are three types of plate. Number one, constructive plate boundary. Number two, destructive plate boundary. And number three, conservative plate boundary. I'm going to discuss a constructive plate boundary first of all. This occurs when two plates move apart. Magma wells up in the space a new crust is formed. This diagram shows a constructive plate boundary. We essentially have two convection currents operating as represented by the black arrows that I am just drawing. These convection currents in this area at the oceanic crust drag the plates apart. This gap that's left in between gets filled by magma as it wells up to the surface. That magma cools due to the sea presence of the seawater and it forms new crust. Therefore, the crust in the area in the centre of this diagram is much younger than the crust at the two edges. That's a constructive plate boundary. The second plate boundary is a destructive plate boundary. This occurs when two plates move towards each other. The denser plate gets subducted and melted in the magma. The buildup of magma can form volcanoes on the surface. Subduction is the process whereby one plate is forced under another and destroyed. This diagram represents a destructive plate boundary. The convection currents will be operating like so to produce plate movement in this direction. We will also have this second plate moving like so in this direction. You can see that um, this plate boundary, sorry, this plate here is denser than this plate here. As a result of that, this plate gets forced under the lighter plate. The denser plate sinks under into the mantle. In this area here, the subducted or uh, forced under plate melts in the mantle and it causes a buildup of magma in this area here. That magma makes its way through the Earth's crust at a number of weaknesses and it can form a volcano. Other features associated with this area or this plate boundary are an ocean trench. That is formed as the plate gets subducted under the other. We get a deep ocean trench just here at the edge of this plate. This is also an indication that we get lots of earthquakes associated with this plate boundary too. The third type of plate boundary is a conservative plate boundary. This occurs when two plates slide past each other. Crust is neither created or destroyed, but earthquake, earthquakes are common. So in this diagram here, this piece of crust or this plate is moving in that direction this piece of crust is moving in that direction, again caused by convection currents. There is a lot of friction on the plate boundary or the area where the two plates meet. Pressure will build up over time and once this pressure exceeds the friction the plates will move in a jolting movement or make a sudden jump. That is what we know as an earthquake, the violent shaking of the Earth's surface.